Welcome back in today's video, we're diving into the top 10 most valuable USA half dollar old coins that are worth huge money, let's get started. First up, the 1973 Silver Kennedy half dollar with a large date and no mint mark, particularly in circulated condition. So grab your magnifying glass and let's explore what makes this coin so special and valuable in today's auction market. The Kennedy half dollar was first issued in 1964, shortly after President John F. Kennedy's assassination the coin was a tribute to Kennedy's legacy and aimed to honor his contributions to the nation, the initial minting was made of 90% silver, but starting in 1971, the composition changed to a copper nickel clad, although the 1973 coins still contained 40% silver. This makes the Kennedy half dollar a popular choice among collectors, especially those seeking silver content. Now, let's focus on the 1973 version. The distinguishing feature of this coin is the large date design, which was introduced in 1971 and continued through the early 70s. The absence of a mint mark on this coin indicates that it was minted in Philadelphia, where the majority of Kennedy half dollars were produced during this time. Circulated condition refers to coins that have been used in everyday transactions. While they may show signs of wear, scratches, and discoloration circulated coins still hold significant value especially in the context of specific years and varieties the 1973 large date without a mint mark in circulated condition typically sells at a lower price compared to its uncirculated counterparts. But it still holds a place of respect among collectors. In today's auction market, the value of a 1973 silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in circulated condition varies significantly based on its condition and demand. As of now, these coins typically sell for anywhere between $66,500 at auction. However, well-preserved specimens that exhibit minimal wear and maintain some luster can fetch prices upwards of $65,000 or more. So why do collectors value the 1973 Silver Kennedy half dollar? It's not just about the silver content, it's about the history, the artistry, and the connection to a pivotal moment in American history. For many collectors, owning a piece of this heritage provides a sense of nostalgia and pride. Next up, the 1911 Barber Half Dollar. Specifically focusing on the version with the D mint mark in dirty condition, the Barber Half Dollar, designed by the renowned engraver Charles E. Barber, was minted from 1892 to 1915. The 1911 edition stands out not only for its design but also for its place in history as a product of the Denver Mint. The coin features a beautiful depiction of Lady Liberty on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, symbolizing strength and freedom. Now, let's discuss the significance of the D Mint mark. Coins produced at the Denver Mint often carry a premium due to their lower mintage compared to their Philadelphia counterparts. For the 1911 Barber Half Dollar, only a limited number was struck in Denver, making it a valuable addition to any collection. Condition plays a critical role in determining a coin's value. In the world of coin collecting, coins are graded on a scale from poor to perfect. A dirty coin, like the one we're discussing today, usually shows signs of wear, tarnish, or even corrosion. This can significantly affect its market value. So, what's the value of a 1911 Barber half dollar with a D mint mark in dirty condition? Current market trends indicate that these coins can vary widely in price depending on their specific wear and the extent of their dirtiness. Generally, you can expect to see auction prices range from around $400,000. However, some may sell for less or even more depending on the bidding interest. If you're looking to buy or sell a 1911 Barber half dollar, Consider platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or your local coin shops. It's essential to do your research and compare prices to ensure you're getting the best deal. Here are some quick tips for collectors interested in Barber Half Dollars. Always check the coin's authenticity. Familiarize yourself with the grading scale to understand the coin's condition. Keep an eye on auction trends to gauge the market value. Join online forums or local coin clubs to connect with fellow collectors. Next up, the 1985 Silver Kennedy half dollar with a large date and a D mint mark. We'll uncover its history, significance, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. So, let's get started. The Kennedy half dollar was first issued in 1964, just months after President John F. Kennedy's assassination. 
The coin was designed by engraver Gilroy Roberts and features a profile of Kennedy on the obverse with the presidential seal on the reverse. Initially made of 90% silver, the coin's composition changed in 1971 to a copper-nickel clad due to rising silver prices. However, in 1982, the mint resumed producing silver versions of the coin for collectors. This included the 1985 large date variety, which is particularly sought after today. The 1985 Kennedy half dollar comes in two varieties, the small date and the large date. The large date variety is identified by the noticeably larger numbers on the coin's face. The D-mint mark signifies that it was produced at the Denver Mint. This specific coin contains 40% silver, which adds to its appeal for collectors and investors alike. When it comes to determining a coin's value, its condition is critical. The American Numismatic Association uses a grading scale from 1 to 70. Coins graded as good typically show significant wear and tear, with visible details but little luster. For the 1985 Silver Kennedy half dollar in good condition, this means you might see flattening on the high points and a loss of finer details, but the basic design and mint mark are still identifiable. Now, let's talk about the money. As of today, the market for the 1985 Silver Kennedy half dollar with a D mint mark in good condition generally ranges from $67,000. However, prices can vary based on auction dynamics and collector demand. For example, if you happen to find one that is exceptionally well preserved even in good condition, it might fetch a higher price. It's essential to check current auction sites and recent sales for the most accurate pricing. If you're looking to buy or sell this coin, platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or local coin shops are great places to start. Always do your homework, look for recent listings, completed sales, and ensure you're aware of the coin's condition before making a transaction. For collectors, Understanding the history and significance of the coins you own is just as important as their monetary value. Keep your coins in protective holders to maintain their condition and always store them in a cool, dry place. If you're looking to invest, consider diversifying your collection with different years, mint marks, and grades. Next up the 1909 Barber Half Dollar with a D mint mark, especially in circulated condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your journey, this coin holds a unique place in the market. So let's take a closer look. First, let's talk about the Barber Half Dollar's history. Designed by Charles E. Barber, the Barber series was minted from 1892 to 1915, featuring a profile of Liberty on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. The 1909 coin was produced at the Denver Mint, indicated by the D Mint mark on the reverse. During its production, a total of approximately 2.4 million Barber Half Dollars were minted in Denver, making the 1909D a notable year for collectors. When we refer to the Barber Half Dollar in circulated condition, we're talking about coins that have been used in everyday transactions and exhibit signs of wear. Circulated coins often have scratches, dullness, and a reduction in detail, which can significantly affect their value. Collectors particularly seek out circulated examples, as they often tell a story of their journey through time. So, what is the current market value for a 1909 Barber Half Dollar with a D mint mark in circulated condition? As of today, prices can vary widely based on factors like overall condition, eye appeal, and the current demand in the market. In general, a 1909D Barber Half Dollar in good to very fine condition can fetch between $398,000 at auction. However, as the coin's condition improves, so does its value. For example, Ben, an example in fine condition might be valued between $493,000, while those in very fine condition can reach prices upwards of $500,000. Some collectors might even pay over $524,000 of dollars dollars for a well-preserved circulated coin with attractive toning or, for minimal wear. Say, if you're looking to buy or sell this coin, there are several avenues you can explore. Auction sites like eBay and Heritage Auctions are great places to find Barber Half Dollars. Make sure to do your research and compare prices, especially for coins in circulated condition. Local coin shops and coin shows are also fantastic for both buying and selling. Always get your coin appraised by a professional to ensure you understand its true market value. For collectors interested in adding the 1909D Barber Half Dollar to their collection, here are a few tips look for details, signs of wear. 
and any unique characteristics that might add value check auction results and online marketplaces to gauge the current market value engage with fellow collectors through forums and social media groups. They can offer insights and advice on acquiring coins at fair prices, store your coins properly to prevent further wear and damage, use protective holders or albums designed for coin storage. In conclusion, the 1909 Barber Half Dollar with a D-Mint mark in circulated condition is a fascinating piece of American history that continues to capture the interest of collectors. Whether you're looking to add this coin to your collection or considering selling one, understanding its value and market trends is essential. Next up the 1971 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar, particularly the large date variety without a mint mark the Kennedy Half Dollar was first introduced in 1964 following the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. This coin was designed by Gilroy Roberts and Frank D. Gasparo and has become one of the most iconic coins in American history. In this video we will explore the 1971 issue, especially focusing on the large date version without a mint mark. In 1971 the US. Mint produced two varieties of the half dollar the small date and the large date. The large date variety has slightly larger numerals in the date and can be distinguished from its counterpart. For our focus today, the key feature is that this particular coin lacks a mint mark, which indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Now, what does it mean for a coin to be in circulated condition? Circulated coins show signs of wear from being used in everyday transactions. You might see scratches, dings, or a loss of luster, but it retains its basic features. The 1971 large date Kennedy half dollar in circulated condition still carries its unique attributes but may not be as visually striking as its uncirculated counterparts. As of today, the value of a 1971 large date Kennedy half dollar in circulated condition can vary based on its specific state. Generally, coins in this category tend to fetch between $40,000 at auction, given their silver content and popularity among collectors. However, some specific sales have shown higher results, especially if the coin has maintained better than average wear or if it's part of a larger collection. For example, recent auction results have indicated that well-preserved circulated coins have sold for upwards of $39,000, especially when there's a bidding war among collectors. This shows the demand and appreciation for the historical significance of the Kennedy half dollar. If you're looking to sell or buy one of these coins, several platforms and auction houses specialize in numismatic items. Websites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and Great Collections, and Great Collections are excellent places to start. Always remember to research recent sales of similar coins to ensure you're getting a fair deal. In summary, the 1971 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar Large Date without a mint mark holds significant value in today's auction market, even in circulated condition. Its historical importance, combined with the intrinsic value of its silver content, makes it a sought-after coin for collectors. Next up the 1777-1927 Vermont Commemorative Half Dollar. If you're a coin collector or just a fan of numismatics, you won't want to miss this. Let's start with a bit of history. The Vermont Commemorative Half Dollar was issued in 1927 to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Vermont's admission to the Union. Vermont, known for its picturesque landscapes and rich history, played a crucial role in the early development of the United States. The coin features the design of the state's seal on the obverse, showcasing a farmer and a plow, symbolizing Vermont's agricultural roots. The reverse displays a beautiful depiction of the state's motto, freedom and unity, which reflects the spirit of the Green Mountain State these coins were minted in silver and are a testament to Vermont's contribution to American history. Originally, only 20,000 pieces were produced, making them relatively rare today. Now, let's talk about the specifications of the Vermont Commemorative Half Dollar. This coin is made of 90% silver and 10% copper, weighing in at about 12.5 grams. It has a diameter of 30.6 mm and a thickness of 2.41 mm. Despite its beauty, many of these coins can be found in less than perfect condition often featuring a dirty or tarnished appearance due to age and exposure. While this might deter some collectors, it's important to understand how these conditions affect the coin's value. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter the value of the Vermont commemorative half dollar in today's auction market, particularly in dirty color condition. 
As of 2024, coins in this state can vary significantly in value. A Vermont half dollar in good condition meaning it has minimal wear and retains most of its original details can fetch between $900,000. However, when we look at coins that are classified as dirty or in poor condition, the values drop. Typically, you can expect a Vermont commemorative half dollar in dirty condition to be valued around $1 million at auction. The extent of the tarnishing and dirt will play a significant role in determining the exact value. Coins with more prominent dirt and corrosion might fetch lower prices, while those that still show some of their original luster, despite the dirt, may command a higher price within that range. For collectors seeking these coins, it's crucial to remember that even in dirty condition, the historical significance and rarity of the Vermont commemorative half dollar can still make it a desirable piece. Now, a common question arises should you clean a dirty coin? As a general rule, no. Cleaning can significantly decrease a coin's value. Collectors often prefer coins in their original state, even if they are dirty. If you're looking to preserve the value of your coin, it's best to leave it as is and handle it with care. If you absolutely need to clean it, consider consulting a professional conservator who specializes in coins to avoid any damage. In conclusion, the 1777 to 1927 Vermont commemorative half dollar is more than just a piece of silver, it's a slice of American history that embodies the spirit of Vermont. Even in a dirty condition, this coin holds significant value for collectors and history enthusiasts alike. If you have one of these coins or are considering adding it to your collection, be sure to keep its condition in mind when determining its worth in the market. Always consult recent auction results and consider seeking professional appraisal for a more accurate value. Next up the 1977 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar, particularly the large date variety without a mint mark. Stick around as we uncover its history, significance, and value in today's auction market. In 1977, the coin was produced with both a large date and a small date variety. The large date coins, like the one we're discussing today, feature a larger numeral for the year 1977, which collectors find particularly appealing. What makes this coin even more interesting is that it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint without a mint mark, indicating it was produced for circulation. Now, let's talk about what we mean by circulated condition. A coin in this condition shows signs of wear from being used in everyday transactions. You might see scratches, dings, or a loss of luster. For collectors, circulated coins tell a story and can often hold value due to their rarity and historical significance. Coins in circulated condition are graded differently than uncirculated coins. The 1977 Kennedy half dollar in circulated condition typically falls in the fine to very fine categories, depending on its specific state of wear. Now, let's get to the exciting part the value of the 1977 Silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark. In today's auction market, prices for this coin can vary based on its condition and demand among collectors. Recently, we've seen circulated examples selling for anywhere from $50,000 of dollars with some listings reaching higher, depending on the seller and the auction platform. Interestingly, market trends show that these coins can appreciate in value, especially as more collectors enter the market. The appeal of silver content combined with the historical significance of the Kennedy half dollar keeps the demand steady. If you're looking to buy or sell a 1977 silver Kennedy half dollar, there are several avenues you can explore. Local coin shops often have knowledgeable staff who can help you determine the value of your coin. Online auction sites like eBay and specialized coin auction platforms also provide a wide reach for potential buyers and sellers. Always do your research before buying or selling and consider getting your coin graded by a professional grading service if you believe it holds significant value. This can help establish authenticity and market worth. Next up the 1974 Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark. If you've got one of these in your collection, or you're just curious about its value in today's market, stick around as we uncover its worth and why it's considered one of the most valuable coins of its kind. First, let's take a closer look at this iconic coin. The 1974 Kennedy half dollar features the famous portrait of President John F. Kennedy, designed by Gilroy Roberts, on the obverse side. On the reverse, we see the presidential seal, surrounded by 50 stars, symbolizing the states of the Union. This coin was produced during a time when the United States was moving away from silver coinage due to rising silver prices. 
The 1974 Kennedy Half Dollar was minted in two main varieties those produced at the Philadelphia Mint and those from the Denver Mint. However, today we are specifically discussing the version without a mint mark, which indicates it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. The total mintage for the 1974 Philadelphia Half Dollar was about 11 million coins. While not the rarest, the lack of a mint mark makes it more sought after among collectors. Now, when we talk about the value of any coin, condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state. The 1974 Kennedy half dollar in good condition means it has significant wear, with details that are visible but may be faint. At this grade, the coin might show scratches, discoloration, and other signs of circulation. Despite these imperfections, collectors are often still interested in coins like this for their historical value. Let's get to the big question, what is the market value of a 1974 Kennedy half dollar in good condition? As of today, coins in good condition are generally valued at approximately $39,000 at auction. However, prices can fluctuate based on demand, market trends, and the specific details of each coin, such as overall eye appeal and rarity. Collectors often pay a premium for coins with unique characteristics or historical significance, so keep that in mind if you're considering selling or buying. If you're looking to buy or sell a 1974 Kennedy half dollar, there are several avenues you can explore. Online auction sites like eBay often have listings where you can find coins in various conditions. Additionally, coin shows and local coin shops can provide a more hands-on experience where you can assess the coin's quality directly before making a purchase. In conclusion, the 1974 Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in good condition may not be the rarest coin but it certainly has its place in the hearts of collectors and is a great addition to any collection. Understanding its value and rarity can help you make informed decisions when buying or selling. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about coin collecting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.